Do you want to get into magnet fishing but don't know what magnet to get? In this video, I break down the pros and cons of the magnet I use and why it's never a good idea to start your hobby with a cheap magnet from the hardware store. Coming up. What's going on everybody? My name is Jeremy. Thank you so much for tuning in. So long story short, yesterday I went to go magnet fishing. I, I was really excited. I was thinking about it all day at work. Uh, I get to the river, I get all my stuff ready, I get in the back, I forgot my magnet. I'm pretty sure one of you guys have done that before. What can I say? Luckily, one of my buddies was there with me and he had a couple of magnets and I got to use his. Unfortunately, the magnets that my friend brought with him are, were bought at a local hardware store. Now these magnets that you can buy from your local stores around your house, they're what is called a ferrite magnet. Right, ferrite magnets are very common. You're gonna find these magnets all over your house, most commonly on your fridge. The downside to these magnets is they're not very strong. As you can see in the video, I was dragging it back and I was pulling stuff out of the river that was small, like nails, fish hooks, odds and ends, you know, little washers and screws here and there. But if that magnet was to grab onto something big, say a gun or a safe, it, would, it wouldn't be able to hold onto it and you'd lose that catch. Now, this is the magnet that I use. This magnet is super strong, it is heavy, and it will hold on to whatever it grabs onto. The main reasons I like using this magnet is because one, it is heavy. You can throw it out into the current, the river could be raging, it's still going to sink in the same spot and the river's not going to be able to carry it downstream. It's going to hit the bottom and you'll be able to drag it back. The river is not going to be able to pick it up, it'll stay on the bottom and it'll grab whatever it comes across. Like I said earlier, this magnet is very strong. It will grab like, let's say you hook onto something flat, say the side of a safe. It's got, I believe, 375 pounds of pull force, which means if it's got a good grab, it's not letting go. The ferrite magnets that are the same size, which is about the size of a hockey puck, wouldn't even be able to pick up, I would say, a quarter of what this one can pick it up. Another big thing about this magnet that I like so much is the fact that uh, it's shaped like a cone. There's a, ho a whole lot of magnets out there, the really good ones, the really not so good ones, but all of them seem to have the same shape. It's like a hockey puck, it's flat, and it's got this on top. To, I have personal experience in getting these things snagged in the creek or a river. I had to go out there and I had to fish it out because I didn't want to lose my magnet. They're really easy to get snagged. This on the other hand is solid, shaped like a cone. This isn't going to get snagged on anything unless it ties itself in a knot or you literally slide it up underneath like a big boulder. It slides over rocks, it will slide over the branches. As you can see in this video, it's not gonna get stuck near as easy as the other magnets that you see out there on the market. So the downsides to magnets like this one are they're expensive. This particular magnet I got online. I will link the website that sells these down below for you if you're curious, but this one runs about $60. Another thing about this magnet and any other of the magnets that you buy, check this out. This part is where you hook on the rope. It twists onto your magnet. When you first get these things, there's nothing holding this on. So you could twist it off and you'll lose your magnet. So essentially you're throwing this in the river, it's bouncing across rocks. You're going to loosen it up. Uh, you're gonna lose your magnet. So what you wanna do is put some Loctite in there uh, and, and, and that'll, that'll solve the problem. Simple as that. Another downside to this magnet, the same thing I said earlier about it being heavy as an upside, is also a downside. You will throw this out in the river two or three times and you're quickly going to realize how heavy it is. You're going to get a full workout if you sit, if you spend about an hour or two at the docks throwing this out in the water. I guarantee it. Things to consider when you get one of these magnets, or any other magnet, not even the one that I'm talking about, you want to get yourself a dependable rope. I've cut this rope off because I use the rope for something else, but any kind of rope you get at the store um, will do the job. You don't want to get, I'm not a big fan of those yellow nylon ropes. They just, I just, I just see them breaking. I always find me a nice polypropylene rope. I got one of these ropes at the hardware store for $10. Uh, it's 100 feet long and it floats. So for some odd reason, if all of your rope gets in the water with your magnet, you still have a chance to retrieve it because your rope is going to be floating. Another thing to consider when you're getting one of these magnets is the knot. You're going to lose your magnet really quick if you just tie a quick square knot on there thinking it's going to hold. 
it will come loose in the water and you're going to lose your magnet. I personally went above and beyond when I tied this one on. As you can see with all this nonsense up here, it uh, I actually tied a noose and I wrapped it in there. I, I doubled it over and I made a noose, lots of rings, and then I took electrical tape and I stretched it around all the rings. This thing's not coming off. I'm not going to lose this no matter what. So I recommend you learn how to tie a good knot. The noose, what like I said, is the way I went and I there's there's no, I'm not going to lose this with this knot. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Ultimately, your money is yours and you get to spend it on whatever you want. And this is just my opinion. By no means and I, am I some kind of magnet expert or I seem I think that I know everything about magnets. I don't. I'm just sharing with you some of my personal experiences and hopefully you will take that with you before you purchase any of your future magnets. So if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos like this, just comment below. Tell me how I'm doing. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. I wish you all the best of luck hunting for your treasures and I will see you later. I'm out.